I'm your awesome kid's toy studio and I'm here with the Lego Technic Perseverance Mars Lander. <laughs> Look at how big this thing is. <laughs> and this thing is awesome. You get this really large book and it's 1132 pieces and all technical Lego. So there's really a lot to build here. It's quite difficult, so the age range of 10 plus. I think that's about correct. I did a little with my five year old son, but he wasn't able to do all of the technicalities, but he just loves space exploration so much. So we made this together. But after about 40 minutes, I ended up doing the rest of the thing. So there is a lot going on here. You have the little exploration uh, drill here. You can turn that down. And here is a wheel that's working. So you can pull that up and pull that down. You can move the wheels with a little turn here. So that's pretty cool. And you can also slide this in and out with the other dial here. There are a lot of details. So this thing really comes together when you're making all of these details and adding them on top. So that's pretty cool. You have the like dish here. And this is also very, very cool. And it really makes this thing come together. So while you're building this, you can also see how the moving parts will work because all of the gears inside already are able to turn. And then you, you, when you connect them, you already see that you can move all of these parts. So that's pretty cool. Now the extra thing here in this Lego is this is one of the few Lego sets where they introduced their new AR system. So let's look at that for a little bit. I'll take out my phone and I'll record it so you can see that. So you can actually learn a lot about Mars and the conditions there by using this AR app. So it's fun to see, of course, but they really made an effort here to make this an educational tool. And then you can start exploring that in AR on your phone. So first you need to place that on a smooth surface. So I have that. Now it already recognizes the model and you can start looking at these different things. So here's the planet. And you can look at the MOXIE conditions. MOXIE is Mars Oxygen Institute Resource Utilization Experiment and it produces oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. So it's already ed educational here. And you can see what this MOXIE really is. So that's pretty cool. And you can go through the steps and learn more about it. So you can see how pressurized air is formed in the filters and it goes in carbon dioxide to make oxygen here. <laughs> so that's, that's awesome. There are a few extra things here that you can view. Just point it at the space and then click there. So this is the weather conditions. You can see for different dates what the weather conditions are or will be. So temperature is minus 10 to minus 74 degrees Celsius, so that's really, really low. The season is late summer there now. Total sunlight, you can see that. So that's all pretty cool. You can see natural phenomena. You can see dust devil. This is what it would look like on Mars. <laughs> so it's really weird to see that around you. And this is a dust storm that will be out there with wind speeds of 96 kilometers per hour. And that's pretty cool. You can also see some things about the uh, engineering. You can see how all of these things work. That's where the engine would be. That's what that would look like. So it's all pretty cool that it works. That this this works in AR. And you can see something about the map exploration. This is where you can do uh, some missions with it as well. So I think that's fun for 10 year olds or maybe a little younger to start doing. You can take a sample of a rock, for example. So there are rocks here now all around me. And then I can do this to start sampling that just like uh, I would with like the actual um, rock sampler here on the front or on the back. And then I will store the sample, aim at perseverance. 
and that's how the sample is put in. So that way you can see a few different um, missions here. It's kind of a river delta. So this is pretty cool. And this really adds to the fun you get with this set. Now you pay for the amount of pieces here. It's not more expensive than other Lego Technic sets per piece, say, but you also get this cool AR experience that you won't get with other Lego Technic sets. So I really think this is a cool set for any space exploration fan, well, no matter the age, because my son could enjoy this as well, just looking at it. And we might come back to it in a few years once he's a little bit older and might understand more about the Mars conditions. Um, so we can look at this again.